Pretty much a doctor. Pretty much a doctor. Okay. Or gloves. I got soap. I wash my hands. I'm like pretty much a doctor. Like 99% there. And you get like the, the whole aspect of human interaction with tattooing. Not only being able to talk to somebody, but I mean, it's going on somebody else. Uh, we all say it's all, oh, it's forever, it's, this is permanent, and it's really kind of the least permanent art form. It's going to last less time than you know, any painting I ever do, and um, because, you know, it's on a living, breathing person. Somebody wanted it enough or liked my art enough to wear it around for the rest of their life, and second of all is it's only gonna last for the rest of their life. Once they die, it's, it's gone, you know, never to be seen again. It gets real redundant, I guess, if I had to, you know, just tattoo or if I just, just paint. So it's a balance, balancing game. Right out of my apprenticeship, trying to paint, I was like, well, let's see if a uh, tattoo ink works. However many years, I mean, I still use it to this day. If I need a color, I'm, I'm way more familiar with the colors I want to use. But I, I do, I think, uh, I appreciate those tattoos more after they've been lived in and have a, have a little story to tell. It has been around for significantly longer than people think. You know, as long as humans have been here, they've figured out a way to put ink in the skin getting to you know, see the evolution of the museum, visiting it very frequently, uh, especially as a kid. You, know, you don't ever think about, like, oh, I would like to have a, you know, a show here one day. It's um, always been in the back of my mind and I kind of jumped to the chance when uh, the opportunity came, tying in tattooing and art, not just one, one or the other. So I think it's something that's going to be pretty interesting for people to, to get to see. I mean, it's an art form. And I think that's the, the one thing that uh, I like to for people to kind of take away from it. Growing up down here, I wanted to have my shop down here. I wanted my kids to be able to walk up and down these streets like I did when I was a kid. Because when I started tattooing you know, a decade ago, it was more taboo and seeing that that change a decade later um, I like to think that uh, you know, we had a little something to do with that there's so many amazing artists there's better artists than me there's better tattooers than me um, there's better business owners than me but I guess the, the biggest thing is longevity. But I think that's kind of what I want to be remembered for is, is constantly evolving to where it never becomes stagnant and always trying to improve and, uh, and give back to the Gulf Coast, the tattoo community, the art community. Giving back, I mean, I've taken enough from them, especially tattooing, it's, it's given me everything so I would like to leave it better than when I found it. And I guess chalk art might be be uh, up there on the least permanent but or sandcastles. Sandcastles.